rugged terrain, degraded lands, deep gullies are some of the environmental physical aspects that aptly defines this part of Suba in Homer Bay County. Homer Bay County has a, an average population of 1.3 million and uh, half, nearly three quarters of this population consider environmental or natural resources as free resources. Homer Bay has huge, visible, depressing consequences of climate change. The most visible is the erratic weather patterns. Our major forest has completely been depleted. That has impacted very negatively on the rainfall patterns. Once the rainfall patterns were interrupted, our agriculture has been interrupted. A big percentage of the population here has for years relied on fishing along the beaches of Lake Victoria. But dwindling fish stock, coupled by the adverse effects of climate change, is driving the community to vulnerability. Almost 90% of the population entirely depend on fish for food and for economic reasons. As a county, uh, uh, we are putting uh, more emphasis on mechanisms of going green because we cannot manage climate change uh, uh, challenges. We already have a Climate Change Act 2022 and that act comes up with the solutions, possible solutions. One of them is adaptive actions, building resilience among communities. In the midst of these hardships, one community-based organization is making an unimaginable transformation that is changing the blot on the landscape into the biblical Garden of Eden. Genlink is an acronym where G stands for generations, EN stands for environment, and LINK stands for linkage. The CBO Genlink, translating to linking generations with a view of sharing valuable knowledge, takes pride in the much they have achieved within a short time. We bring girls to just learn, learn on doing. Yeah, it's not like doing, giving them a lot of, uh, like it's their labor, but they, they just come in, they, they enjoy learning and they're able to carry it back home. The majority of the people now are young people who have the energy, who have the technical know-how. So we wanted to marry the, the two skills so that we together address environmental uh, situations in this community. The secret behind the success is inclusion of both indigenous and exotic knowledge in the application of smart climate technologies, with the entry point being at the household level and utilization of locally available materials to address prevailing environmental challenges. In line with the current climate issues, I find that at times sourcing the, uh, the potting soil uh, is at times difficult and uh, it forces other people or tree nursery operators to even go an extent of purchasing it. But with us, we do what recycling is being encouraged. It always starts small, akin to a kitchen garden on a bare piece of land measuring 20 by 20 meters, but which upon the transformation does not only feed an entire family, but becomes a source of income through sale of surplus produce. So this one relieves the family of the, the financial burden and it also relieves the family of the food scarcity. Little by little, this homegrown solution to adverse climate change effects attracts attention of the neighbors, passers-by, scholars, and soon everyone is eager to board. Genlink organizes uh, trainings and uh, field days. So there's time that we can organize specific training for that linkage. If we invite young people, we also invite old people, then we organize a forum. So Genlink is like a platform. Through all these engagements, Genlink has reached at a level that we want the other partner, the county government, to adopt what we call the hills. The hills are over depleted through charcoal burning, and we are actually championing an approach called adoption of a hill, where we take a small portion we grow the fruits, we do what we call um, fruit farming, these hybrid fruits, and then we also leave another section of the hill for it to regenerate, what we call the farmer-managed natural regenerations. 
So in that approach, you'll find that there is a, less pressure in the hills, a lot of work on the, on the ground, and there's much food. The knowledge on environmental conservation, the brainchild of Genlink, is slowly but authoritatively finding way to learning institutions where the fruits of this simple labor have been termed as being sweet. It's sweet, it's soft, it is... Uh liked by the girls and even the people that we sell to. With learners turning out to be practical ambassadors of this household approach to sustainable agriculture and environmental turnaround, the link to future generations has been firmly cemented.